Hello everyone, I am Cone of Arc, and welcome to a new Tank Encyclopedia article on a little-known use of the H-39 French light tank. The Hotchkiss H-39 was an improvement over the previous H-35 model, a light infantry tank created for the French 1933 infantry tank program. However, the H-35 was rejected by the infantry and ended up being adopted by the French cavalry. The newer H-39 model brought a more powerful engine and, from about the 480th tank produced onward, a newer, more potent 37mm SA-38 main gun was installed. Used widely by the French army in 1940 and then in a secondary role by the German Wehrmacht, a number of H-39s were recaptured by the French upon the liberation of the country in 1944. In comparison to other pre-1940 vehicles, the Hotchkiss light tank would see a more extended post-war service, being used by French occupational forces in Germany in the earliest phases of the Indochina War and exported to the State of Israel upon its creation in 1948. The region of the British Mandate for Palestine was a major area of conflict during the decolonization of the Levant and Middle East, populated both by Arab Muslims and a Jewish population that was rising in number following the conclusion of the Second World War, the future of the area was violently disputed between these two sides. The United Nations Partition Plan was not being accepted by the Palestinian population nor by the neighboring Arab states. On 14th May 1948, the State of Israel was declared by David Ben-Gurion, head of the internationally recognized Jewish agency which defended the interests of Jews in Palestine. The next day, the Arab-Israeli war began as troops from Egypt, Transjordan, Syria, and Iraq entered the claimed territory of the new Israeli state. Israel relied at this point on the Haganah, a paramilitary organization that had been founded in 1921 and was often criticized for being nearly terrorist in its nature. With the independence of Israel, this Haganah morphed into a form of militia that defended the new state. Israel had to scramble and search for military equipment on an international market that was mostly hostile to arm this mostly poorly equipped Haganah. Some Israeli agents had been sent to search for surplus equipment to purchase in France, and by the end of May 1948 had managed to acquire a variety of equipment, mostly field artillery pieces of various caliber, but also 10 Hotchkiss H-39 light tanks, which were brought back to the nascent state of Israel in early June. This was in spite of a military embargo that had been placed on 29th May along with a truce declared by the United Nations that had no effect. The tanks had reportedly been acquired for a price of US $41,000 each, and all ammunition included with them was high explosive. Unloading the H-39s outside of the eyes of the UN and British forces still present was difficult. The port of Haifa was still partly run by the British, whereas no dock featuring a crane able to pick up the vehicles existed in Tel Aviv. The cargo ship carrying the tanks, camouflaged as another ship to conceal the fact that it may be laden with weapons, was finally unloaded by another ship that featured a crane after its captain had been bribed and told he was to unload agricultural machinery. He had to be bribed a second time to continue unloading the ship upon discovery that the vehicles were in fact not agricultural, but combat tanks. Some sources describe the tanks as H-35s instead of H-39s, however, all photos of Hotchkiss tanks in Israel show H-39s, which can be clearly differentiated by their raised engine deck. At least one appears to have been armed with the 37mm SA-18 found on the first 480 H-39s. The SA-38 found on vehicles produced later appears to be somewhat more common on the Israeli vehicles. Interestingly enough, some vehicles featured a German-style commander cupola similar to that found on the Panzer II, indicating some vehicles had been operated by German forces and at some point refitted to suit their needs before falling back into French hands and then being sold to Israel. It should be noted, a source mentions that the H-39 came from Yugoslavia and not France, though the French hypothesis seems more believable. The Hotchkiss H-39 light tanks were, upon delivery, given to the newly created Brigade 8 unit, a part of the Palma, the elite component of the Haganah militia. Brigade 8 was supposed to be the first Israeli armored unit 
composed of two battalions, the 81st, which was supposed to be a mechanized infantry unit operating a variety of motorized vehicles and some armored cars alongside its infantry, and the 82nd, which was to be the armored battalion. The 82nd had four mechanized companies, which operated half-tracks and armored cars, and two armored companies. The first, Company Bet, operated two Cromwells and a single M4A3 tank, and second, Company Vav, operated the 10 Hotchkiss H-39s. This division was actually formed more because of language than equipment. Company Bet was composed of English-speaking Western European personnel, while Company Vav comprised mostly Russian-speaking Slavic personnel who had immigrated into Palestine following the devastation of the Second World War and Holocaust. Its commander, Felix Biotis, was a veteran of the Soviet Red Army. The tanks of Brigade 8 used a three-letter designation number found on their turret, a system similar to the one found on German tanks of the Wehrmacht. This was because this system had been chosen by Felix Biotis, a Polish Jew who only knew German tank markings. This meant that, for example, an H-39 with the number 611, such as one which is presented in Latrun today, was the first tank of the 1st platoon of the 6th company. The tanks proved to be in very poor state and hard to maintain. Those tanks had been produced from 1938 to 1940 and had often been used by both French and German armies before ending up in Israel, making them hard to maintain. Not only that, but parts, including engines, had to be imported from France to be able to maintain the fleet running. While each tank had been ordered with 2,037mm rounds for the main guns and 15,000 7.5mm rounds for the machine guns, all the shells delivered were high explosive, and as the Arab armies did use armor, a solution had to be found to allow the H-39s to face those potential enemies. This was done by refitting SA-38 shells with the armor-piercing heads taken from the stocks of American 37mm shells. In total, some 400 rounds were converted before the end of Operation Danny. Outside of armament issues, engines too proved to be a problem as well. Parts were lacking, and the cooling was vastly insufficient for the Middle Eastern climate. This problem was so bad that only five of the original ten tanks could be made to be operational at the beginning of Operation Danny, and six in total during the war. Brigade 8 was engaged in the Arab-Israeli War, taking part in several operations. The first major engagement of the unit was Operation Danny, in which Brigade 8 was involved in the capture of Lod, a city on the road between Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, which notably had a considerable airport where the H-39s were photographed. The tanks had only been lightly engaged in this operation, However, all five operational H-39s had breakdowns or other malfunctions, with one needing to stay in maintenance for a long time. When they were operational, the performance of the H-39s in particular was underwhelming. In a following attack against Egyptian-held positions near the villages of Al-Fallujah and Iraq al-Manshia, four H-39s were damaged by mines or drove into anti-tank ditches and had to be abandoned in front of Egyptian lines. A source mentions that 7 out of 12 tanks available to Brigade 8 by that point were knocked out during this operation. Shortly after the end of this operation, the guns were removed from the H-39s and fitted on some armored cars, ending the history of the light tanks as combat vehicles. Ironically, it was about this time that 10 replacement engines had finally arrived from France and would have made the vehicles a lot easier to operate. The SA-38 gun featured on the Hotchkiss light tanks were mounted on some armored cars after they were removed from their original carriers. SA-38 guns have been identified on Marmon Harrington armored cars of South African origin, as well as armored cars manufactured on the chassis of GMC and white trucks, and fitted with an armored body that appears to have come from an M3 scout car or M3 half-track. Some sources mention five of these white or GMC trucks as having 37mm guns, though it is unknown if all of those were SA-38s. These armored cars were quite likely used by the 8th Brigade, as the 81st Battalion and the first four companies of the 82nd are known to have made use of these armored cars. The fact that these guns might have remained within the same unit makes sense in the disorganized context of the First Arab-Israeli War. These armored cars, mostly makeshift vehicles, were phased out quickly after the end of the Arab-Israeli War.
Brigade 8 also had a deception company, of which the function was to confuse the enemy about the number and position of Israeli tanks. This unit placed H-39 mock-ups on jeeps to operate. Those mock-ups had some fairly regular markings, such as a number similar to what the H-39s would have had in service, but also a skull and bones on the front of the mock-up's hull. Those were used to feint movements of armored vehicles near Egyptian lines. Despite being disarmed, the H-39s were not immediately sent to the scrapyard. By April of 1949, eight were mentioned to be in Brigade 8 workshop with Company Vav having been dissolved. It appears that, at some point, at least some had a form of dummy gun installed. This device had a long barrel ending with some form of muzzle brake, and a square-shaped armor plate installed in place of the former mantlet. This has caused some confusion, as rumors of H-39s refitted with two-pounders have also showed up. These, however, are most likely some sort of confusion about Lebanese R-35 tanks, which used the same APXR turret as the H-39 and did receive QF two-pounder anti-tank guns. The H-39s appear to have been retained for ceremonial and perhaps training use for some time, with a photo of one in static display, as well as some being present in military reviews, including aside a much more modern Merkava main battle tank. As of today, an H-39 remains in the Israeli Tank Museum of Latrun. It has been refitted with a 37mm SA-38 gun, returning it to the original state it fought in during the first weeks of the Arab-Israeli War of 1948. The Hotchkiss H-39 light tanks were the first tanks used by the State of Israel in numbers higher than just one or two, as was the case for Cromwell's and Sherman's in the first weeks of the Arab-Israeli War. These long obsolete French light tanks, delivered to the nascent state in secrecy and unloaded chaotically, were engaged in some of the first armored battles of Israel during Operation Danny and the battle for Lod and its airport. The vehicle's operational service was brief, being retired from combat service after several were knocked out by Egyptian defenses in October 1948. Nonetheless, the guns of some of these H-39 light tanks would go on to continue fighting until the end of the war in some armored cars. The tanks themselves were at least in some part preserved as ceremonial vehicles, and at least one appears to survive to today as part of the Tank Museum of Latrun.